Hey, what is going on, guys, gals, aliens, and DJ freaks? Welcome to Dano Crypto, wherever you are, whenever you are. Uh, good morning, good evening. We are going to get into the uh, Bitcoin price. We're going to get into the Bitcoin news. We're going to get into this recent pump that we saw coming. And we're going to also talk about Ethereum. We're going to talk about some altcoins. But first, I want you guys to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, ding the bell to be notified when I make new cryptocurrency videos. And we are going to look at this chart because this Bitcoin chart, just uh, a few, uh, let's see, when did we draw this FIB? We drew this FIB uh, just, a, just a day or two ago. And we were watching this, this retracement. We saw that Bitcoin... Uh, uh, rejected off the 0.618 fib right here and uh, when we got rejected off of there we were okay we're going to retrace back into that golden pocket range and then we would see a little bit of a sideways chop but then we'd see a move to the upside and once i pulled that fib drew these patterns we actually hit and crush those patterns. We actually got right into that price range which i was hoping we would get into which was at the uh, at the top of this range uh, to the breakout point, and we got as high as 42200 and uh, let's see, two thousand or $42,262 on Coinbase. And so now we just saw a little bit of a retracement, but if you see the RSI is actually looking really good, and if we want to get into some of the, the news here, we can see that BTC price is dragged by two trends into the block, data suggests. And so both Bitcoin and Ethereum see aggregated network fees declining due to shrinking volatility while Bitcoin still flows to exchanges. Ethereum reserves started leaving the centralized exchanges. So based on the tracking mechanisms into the block confirmed a 4.3 billion outflow of Grayscale BTC trust, technically Grayscale's GPT trust which had been at a discount relative to the firm's Bitcoin holdings for two years, was converted into an ETF. This caused a whopping outflow that contributed to the BTC price tumbling. And then at the same time, we had FTX also dumping one billion of outflows uh, with their approved sell-off for their bankruptcy. So then we got, you know, the big, despite these negative processes, Bitcoin ETS registered a significant 820 million net inflow, which hints at a solid interest from large buys. So the BTC price, uh, negative catalyst losing steam. Uh, definitely. I think so. So, uh, China central bank announces its readiness to inject 140 billion into its financial system, which might be another catalyst for the crypto capitalization surge. So this is good news. This is bullish news. And articles like this are telling me that the train hasn't hasn't stopped. Uh, the train is going to keep going and uh, we're all going to be running on the side of it screaming trying to jump on it while it starts to blast off back into these levels right here we could be getting a short squeeze to fifty thousand. uh it's definitely possible but let's look at ethereum right now let's look at ethereum so ethereum is in the levels where we're retesting the previous lows before we had the recent breakout to 2700 and could we be seeing another retest of these these highs here at 2400 and then back up into 2700 it looks like it because if you see these previous patterns uh, when we retested these lows right here at 2100 we saw a recovery up to 2300 and then retrace and then we saw a blast off and then now we tried to retest those lows again and we came up not as high as before but you can see here right in this data we actually shot off into 236 2360 right here and so that could be what we're looking at for ethereum in the short term got a lot of volume area highs here to go off of and so we're sitting on a nice trade right now on ethereum and btc we actually got in on a good entry point and we actually beefed up our btc trades when we went below thirty nine thousand dollars so real quick we're going to look at the altcoins guys if you go to danielcurtishughes.com you can actually get the crypto bubbles 
Um, simple crypto bubbles uh, widget on my homepage, and then you can see everything else that's on my website. But yeah, let's see what's going on with the altcoin market. On the daily, we got Conflux up 12%. We got Sue up 11%. Ronin, guys, you don't want to uh, forget about the Ronin wallet up 5%. Uh, BitTorrent up 5%. Injective 4%. Um, Injective might come back into the limelight and get some steam again. Uh, we got Sats. We got you know the BRC20 Bitcoin. Uh, narrative tokens going off. We got Manta. Manta has been doing substantially, substantially well. And if we look, let's see what's what's happening on the hourly. So on the hourly, Manta, FTT. I don't know why this is still a thing. We got Ronin, uh, Injective, Axie Infinity. We have Rose, Shib, Shiba Inu. So yeah, guys, definitely check out the website. I love that I added these. It's so, you know, functional with the crypto bubbles on here and uh, try to make this website nice and fun. But all right, guys, just wanted to do a quick market update with Bitcoin and Ethereum and a little bit of the altcoins and uh, send you guys off on your Saturday. And I hope you have a fantastic day. And guys, don't forget to sign up for the Bitflex t-shirt contest because it is ending on the 31st. I said I was going to end it on the 31st. Uh, I think we only have just a few people that have signed up. So, I mean, it'll be really easy. Your chances of winning a shirt are are very, very high if you sign, if you sign up. So, uh, yeah, use the link in the description. Sign up for that. Um, all you got to do is just sign up for it, and uh, you will get a chance to win one of these awesome Bitflex t-shirts. All right, guys. Hope you have a good day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.